Hello, my friends. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, um, last time we left off on this really hard choice. And, uh, I don't know what to choose. So, you know, we have it saved here, thankfully. So if I make the wrong choice, whoopsies. But, um, yeah, hope you enjoy this one. I might fail. If I do, I'll go back and try the other choice. We'll see what happens. Hopefully this is the last episode. I feel like the, it wants me to click this, so I'm going to click it and uh, eat my Dairy Queen blizzard in hopes that everything will be fine. Mmm, that's pretty good. Anyway. <clears throat> we need to take this chance, Allie. I think you need this. I... Guys, guys, take a chill pill for a second. Huh? I'm a programming god! Best of the best! <laughs> I'm gonna have that crack code crack by tomorrow, that's a promise. So don't worry, okay? Tara, I love you. Oh, Allie said it for me. I love you guys. Thank you so much, really. Why are you thinking all of us? I'm the one who has read the code and shit. <laughs> we laughed together. Something that I thought might have been impossible after the initial bad news. We're in this together and we're getting out together. I love Tara. She is a beautiful being. No one gets left behind. After we called it a night, I laid in bed deep in thought. Who'd have thought I could have ended today feeling inspired after everything that happened last night? We got this. We... Sexy Chad Finn. One more thing we've turned turn in for the night. What's up, Tara? I got caught up in the heat of the moment earlier and, uh... Oh, no. I got no idea. No, no, no. I don't like this going. How to do this, because, uh... I remember that all I know about hacking are videos of people typing really fast and saying, I'm in. Ah! I practically flew out of bed. Thank God it was just a nightmare. What does it take to get a good night's sleep on a killer dating show? Oh, thank God it's a nightmare. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thank God. I was about to... I praised you, Tara. <laughs> Don't make my praise go to waste. Dairy Queen, 10 out of 10. Not sponsored, though. <clears throat> what are you smiling about? I like things are going my way lately. Yesterday's day with Wild sells me feeling giddy as a little kid. It's almost like there's perks to being on a killer dating show. Well, don't get too comfortable. You still got a few days left, and then it's back to the regular. I'm looking forward to that. I bet the sooner or later. You cost too much to keep around. Anyway, the million dollar question, who's today's lucky girl? That'd be... So tomorrow's gonna be either Tara or Allie. Let's go with Tara. Doesn't Tara need... Doesn't Tara need time to crack the code? Nah, I already finished making the code breaker. Let's try it every password as we speak. No guarantee it'll finish before we're both done our dates, but... It's worth a shot. Thank you, Tara. Don't worry about it. Besides, I think it's better if we save our date for last. Or save your date for last. Why is that? Why is that? I don't know. You're some super spy from some super secret organization. You definitely got bigger ice potential than I do. I don't know about that, but Santa did it to me. I'll use this time for some contingency plans. Scarlet Valley, I'm gonna <coughs> need you guys free. I'm happy to provide assistance. You bet. I'll help however I can. S Sweet. All right. Uh, right. Sex Chad Finn. What's up? I didn't just build a code breaker. I built a game that works with it too. What do you mean? Show me your console. I swept it up real quick. It looks like a code breaking game, but really, it works directly from the computer we found. If you get the password right in this game, you'll have access to the computer. It makes sense. Amazing, I can't believe you worked some so fast. It wasn't hard. 
you're just a big middle finger to my mom who thought all my screen time was a waste of time. <laughs> Tara, I love you. You are amazing in every way. <laughs> oh, you were a beautiful human being. Too bad you're not real. Anyways. <clears throat> Anyway, I figured we could play this game here and uh, there during our day. Try whatever passwords come to mind. Obviously not for the whole day because Raiden's in all, but as much as we can. Sure this will work. Trust me. When have I ever been wrong? She cackled maniacally. Let's hope this works. <laughs> I'd like to spend today with Tara. Is that so? Well, we'll make it happen. Try not to spend all of it playing games, though. Believe it or not, that isn't what viewers want in a prime time slot. No promises, but I'll try my best. It ain't much, but I'll take it. Sorry, man. That was pretty much the plan. A6, Jeff Finn. You have to play some games. I'd love to, but Cat wants us to do some other... Games it is! Sweet! <laughs> There's no stopping Tara when she puts her mind to something. Started playing together in the games... We started playing together in the games room while making pleasant conversation. Normal enough to seem like a regular conversation, cryptic enough to disguise what we were trying to do. Even if Tara and I were... Even if Tara and I never went on crazy adventures... Even if Tara and I never went on crazy adventures like I did with Allie, it didn't make, moment, it didn't make moments with her any less special. I forget that we were trying to hack some into some confidential database. This is really fun to... This really is like a fun day at home with your partner. How about Terra is the best? Worth shot. No, that doesn't work. The nerf of them. Terra rules. That's a miss. <laughs> Was the T capitalized? Maybe add zero. Maybe add a zero, one, two, three at the end of it. My goodness, we have code break. <laughs> Crab breaker running in the background. Now let's switch gears. Let's give cats some footage to work to to keep us alive. Good God, sexy chaffing white the sun! Ah! Go on without. <laughs> Tara, you are beautiful. Okay, maybe this wasn't the best idea. Somewhere or another, we always end up back inside the mansion, huh? And there's nothing wrong with that. Well, I guess you're right. I prefer Fear of Rats, that game we just played. Sure. How about Damien Black's? <laughs> <laughs> little emoticon. <laughs> no, nope, doesn't work. Cat blacks? <laughs> Twinkie face. No, that either. How about sexy chat Finn? Oh, come on, now you're just guessing. Like I wasn't before. Well, I'll try it. Ding ding. I like deer in the headlights. But. We cheered for your favorite team, just won at a sporting event. Wait a minute, why would the password be your name? That doesn't make sense. My guess is as good as yours. Maybe we'll find out tonight. I hope so. Well, I think I've had enough games for today. I never thought I'd I never thought I'd hear you say that, Tara. I'm full of surprises. We could spread the good news after. How about we try something new today? Selling outside? Selling outside? Sounds like a plan to me. Awesome, let's go. I ended up going back inside a minute later, but the rest of the day with Tara was still a lot of fun. Wonderful. <laughs> and, and we're in. The password prompt closed, satisfying ding ding. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> Why would there be a folder called homework? Bro, the, the, the sacred homework folder. For anyone who doesn't know why I'm saying that, uh, it's, uh, it's a, I don't know if this is the thing it, it, other people say, but at least in my friend group, the quote unquote homework folder is, uh, your, uh, your, your stash, if you get what I'm saying. Anyways. <laughs> okay. Okay. Whoa, that is definitely a poll form folder name. Okay, yep, all right, exactly what I just said. <laughs> Tara was about to open it until Allie intervened. Okay, that is that is the greatest, 
That is that is the that is the, the that is a highlight clip if I've ever seen one. Good God, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Tara knows she knows too well. Uh, Tara definitely has a homework folder. She knows if she you know she knows no way she doesn't. You mind if I take a look? Ah, forget why we're here for a second. Sure. <laughs> Let's see. Started going through folders, database reports, anything that would be useful. At the same time, Tara started downloading all the files to her console. Look like there's anything here, but why my name was a password? All the rest of us could do was give Allie and Tara the space they needed. Alright, so we're gonna be up from here, T. Seems like it's only. I was worried for Allie, especially if we couldn't get into the computer, but looks like we got it after all. It's too soon to say anything, but I hope you're right. Let's not jinx it. So what's the first thing you're going to do when we're out of here? I thought we weren't going to jinx it. I'm going to go straight back to helping people the way I knew best. Nothing's changed in that regard. That is a lovely aspiration. Do me a favor and make sure your inventions don't get used on yourself again, okay? I mean, it's not like I was trying to. I admire how you can be so sure. As excited as I am to leave this place, I'm not quite sure what I'll be doing after. That's totally okay, Violet. That's part of the fun of life, just figuring out as you go. I... I suppose so. I looked at me and smiled. That's pretty much my plan at this point, too. Guess who's back, bitch? <laughs> what Tara... What Tara wants to say is, we did it. <laughs> I've got everything I need to turn the tide of the war in. I know where my family is, and they're alive. I'd never seen Allie so happy. She jumped towards me and hugged me. Oh. Oof. That's 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 fantastic. Such a relief. I'm so happy for you, Allie. Good job, Tara. You cracked the code not all at once now. Good afternoon without you guys. Thank you so much. I didn't have to wait this long to leave, but you guys did it for me and the family. I can't ever thank you enough. She pulled out the mask cue from her back pocket and swore around her right hand. You guys ready to get out of here? Actually, I was thinking of staying here for the rest of my life. Not having you is the best thing ever. I couldn't agree more. Er, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. After you, Allie. Oh, boy. You followed Allie out of Mansion through the forest into a hangar. <clears throat> Whoa, I did not see this. Granted, I don't go outside. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's pretty out of the way. Now that we have to worry about it now. By the master key, it's supposed to run her right hand. She walked to the door of the hangar, put the key into the lock. Hmm? Tried to turn it, but it didn't work. Oh, you gotta be fucking my ass right now. Tried a few more times, but the lock refused to budge. I, I don't understand. I've seen this cat use this key everywhere, including here. It must have changed the locks. Must have mean we're stuck here? I don't... It was rare that Ellie trip over where it's a hurt to so defeated. I don't know. An uncomfortable silence fell over us. Am I going to die here? Are all of us? <clears throat> no, we are not just... We are not out of this just yet. I refuse to give up again. We can't get in the hangar. There's no way to break in without triggering the alarms. For now, yes, but getting in later is a different story. If I remember correctly, whenever you went on a third date with Sex Chad Finn, you would fly a plane in you'd fly in a plane together. Well I assuming that plane was you two. It just It's just like you'd try something crazy and drag in Sex Chad Finn. I can't refute that. That was definitely us. Never died on that plane range, I'll never know. That means that means the staff don't mind if you take the plane during the date, which means we should be able to ask for the key temporarily. We'd still be able to get the plane, it just has to be during tomorrow's date. 
There'd be way more staff around than usual, but we'd still have a chance. Exactly! The rest of us can be relatively close by, and perhaps at the beach to avoid suspicion. And when you get the plane, we run over and you pick us up and we are out of here. Ah, just could work! It's better than how my plane turned out anyway. I was worried for a second there, but it was for nothing. We've got this. We'd be in a tight spot without you. It is a team effort. Without each of us here, we would be stuck here. No chance of escape, I'm sure. <coughs> Speak for yourself. I'm sure I could get out of here on my own. <laughs> <laughs> would you shut down the second... You would shut down the second you reached the beach, Tara. Or you would shut down the second you reached the beach, Tara. I'd take it that maybe teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> we laughed together. The mood was definitely better than it was just a few minutes ago. Spent the rest of the night talking through the details of the plan, including what we'd do if the animals by him. One thing was for sure, though, we weren't giving up on getting out of here just yet. It all ends tomorrow. I really hope it does all end tomorrow. I, I've played way too much of this game. I'm going to have so many, so much stuff to edit. <laughs> I need Dairy Queen. Drown my sorrows in ice cream. Like I'm a teenage girl who got her heart broken. <clears throat> Anyways. What do you know, Sick Chef? And I actually made it to the last. You actually made it to the last one on one date. How are you feeling? Honestly, pretty good. I decided to see how a date with Allie would be. Oh, you've got a real surprise in store. She has us all in the crew working extra hard to prepare a social date for you. A special date for you. And by all of us in the crew, I mean the Brothers Five. I bet you'll find her. Spend some time together while we set up things up for you. Sounds like a plan, cat. Let's see. Oh, looks like she's by the beach. Guess that's where I'm he guess that's where I'm headed. Don't do anything we can't air. Murder murder is okay, but God forbid someone takes their top off. I'll have to get as soon as I'm on my way. I mean okay. What the frick? Just as Cat said, Allie was by the beach, she was looking out at the ocean. Morning, Allie. Sex Chad Finn, it's always nice to see you. The difference between Allie's voice during the day and the night was like day and night. <laughs> I guess we do have to worry about the cameras, but still it takes some getting used to. I know it's gonna be your tough to top your previous dates to the girls, but I think I've got a good shot. Look forward to it, Allie. You, you better be. We're saving the best for last. She reached for my hand. Walk with me. I reached for her outstretched hand. It'd be my pleasure. Two of us walked around the beach for a while, getting to know each other. So what will we be doing when this show's over? First thing I'm gonna say, hey, you're my family again, and make them a nice dinner. I'm sure they've gone sick and with worrying this week since I've been gone. Wonder what they're thinking now. It's been at least two years since then. How is alright? Sometimes I'm not remembering it was a blessing. Hallie doesn't have that luxury. Anyway, I got a surprise for you. Come on! She pulled me along with the hand into the forest. I have to say, Allie's really impressed me. Of course, it was her deliberate plan to come into the forest and get to hang her, but she made it seem so spontaneous. You're going to love it. I saw it at the same moment she did. It was all we could do was stand and watch. No. Staggered and almost fell. Who could bl And who could blame her? The hanger was engulfed in roaring flames. you got to be kidding me. It was incredible there was no way either of us could take another step towards the hangar without being burned alive. The stench of burning oil assaulted me without mercy. We were at a loss for words, and in front of all those flames was her, walking away from the flames. Somehow I just know it was her. Sorry, Allie, there's been a small change of plans. I'm sure you can tell, but we've hit a few snags with the hangar. How about you two spend your day on the ground instead? I want to scream. I want to attack her with every bone in my body. I... Save. Go in here. Yep. Return? Okay. Uh... What do I do? This is tough. She'll probably kick my ass, so... 
Huh? YOLO, we're going to attack her. As soon as I take one step forward, I can feel a hand pulling me back. It's Allie. Only from it says everything you can't do. And she's right. I can't afford to put everyone in danger. I must look back from getting away with this plane that I took all the strength I had. I need to calm down. Cat might be able to read my face and see that. Yeah, it's fine to me, Cat. I'm just glad you're safe. What happened? We're still looking into it. Well, either way, there's nothing we can do about that. And we go somewhere else. She reached for my hand and held it tight. How'd she smile like this at me? Of course, Allie. The rest of the day, Allie and I put on the performance of a lifetime. Though our faces were all smiles and laughter, we knew. Cat, you're a bitch. Though our faces were all smiles and laughter, we knew. Now, more than ever, we were trapped in Cat's Pabre Patrol. And Cat loved to make us dance. She must have known we were trying to escape, but how? Do I make a mistake? Did four give us away? Should we have ever trusted him in the first place? Probably not. Who can I trust now? Time is ticking. By the end of the show, it's closer and closer. It's time, I'm supposed to the group. But what do we even do? There's no way we can escape. Our last chance died with the hangar. Should I just make a break for it? No, I'd never make it, and the others would suffer for my mistake. What do I do? You don't look so good. What do you want, cat? Not in a great mood right now. Can we talk later? You're not much for acting, are you? Look, I already know about you and your escape plan. My blood ran cold. You know, take the plane and fly away from here. It wasn't hard to figure out. I tried to say something in my defense, but my voice wouldn't come out. It was all I could do to stand wide-eyed. I know you and the others found the lab, got your memories back. Well, at least the others did. This is not good. This is not good at all. And I know that every night you all work together trying to find a way out. I mean, of course I'd know. I'm the reason why you got this far. What do you mean? Just follow me. You'll save all of us time. We walked up to the locked room near the games room. She took out her master key and spanned it around. You never really thought a bunny could take a few keys from me, right? Honestly, I don't have to believe anymore. She opened the door. Those were inside look, looking as surprised as I was. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you right now, cat. How about two? First, your inside man was never for it was me. I mean, come on, he could be smart enough for something like this. Second, you only ever had a chance at escaping this island because of me. Newsflash, Allie, those tanks just never bug out. You're the one who let me out of my tank. The one and only. Ollie was at a loss for words, and I was no different. What do you want, Cap? Honestly, the same thing as you guys. I went off this crazy train. I want out. I want you guys to include me in your little escape plan. What? Do I have something on my face? As hard as it is to believe, the list of people who want to stay on this island is pretty short. Hell no, we can't trust you. I'm not sure how, but I remember. I remember I tried to escape with you before. I trusted you. I even fell for you. Even five girls in the... Unbelievable. And then you, you betrayed me and shot me. There's no way we could ever trust you. You're just going to stab us in the back. Is that true, Cat? I'm ashamed to say... Or, no, that... I'm ashamed to say it is, but I didn't have a choice. You know how it is with Damien. It doesn't matter if you share the same blood. He'll take the people you love hostage and use them to force you to dance his tune. I'm sorry I betrayed you, Finn. I really am. But if I had to do it again, I'd do it again in a heartbeat because there was someone I needed to save. I know I must look like the villain to you, but believe me, I have people I care about too. If you're so compassionate, how come you burned up our only way out of here? You're lucky I did. If you'd actually flown as you planned, you'd be all at the bottom of the ocean right now. What do you mean? It's a cruel trick of Damien's. He knew there was a chance that people on this show could recover their memories and try to escape. 
So he made us build the hangar and the plane. It's the one place anyone trying to escape would go. Oh, wait. It's the one place anyone trying to escape would go. Exactly. I've told you in the past, Ellie. Never fly that plane or take the boat out of sight of this island. If you did, you'd have blown up like fireworks. That Ali and I were in that plane, which was little more than a flying death trap, so I'm chilled on my swines. Look, the simple reality is you need me to escape. Without me, you won't even make it past the barrier. What barrier? Exactly. And though I hate it, I need you guys to help me and my us escape. She reached her hand towards me for a handshake. Allies... Let's discuss first. Can't, can't lean against the wall while the rest of us debate what to do. Can we really trust her? She, she, this, this might be another trap. It's not like I'd be the first by her. It's not like it'd be the first by her you fall into. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, You're right. That's it. It's not like we have much to lose at this point. Even if she did done terrible things in the past, we still need her to escape. You alright, Allie? I'm fine. I'm just angry at myself. Hey, don't be beat yourself up about it. We're still alive, and that's what counts. She's right, you know. I'm, I'm not sure I'm feeling right now either, but we're alive. That counts for something. You're right. As much as I had said, I think we'll need Cat's help and trust where they're not. But if we want to stay that way... We'll only need... But we'll need to keep an eye on her. I couldn't say it better myself. Alright, Kat, if, if you want our help, you're gonna need to answer a few questions. Ask away. What the hell is this chick so for? And why have you been forcing us to repeat it over and over? As someone from the Resistance, it should be obvious to you. This is just one of the hundreds of killing shows we air. Shows that keep people scared, that keep people from organizing against the government. You want to paralyze people with fear? You broadcast exactly what will happen to you if you rise up. You're the monster. You're monsters, you know that. I don't disagree with you, but we're not in charge here. Some of us still have family to lose, Allie. Continue. But we hear each show. We test them internally on test audiences to see what kind of ratings they bring for the fortunate and what kind of despair they bring for the less fortunate. If they tested well enough, we'd air it, but it wasn't efficient. Oh, wait. Couldn't just film a killing show over and over again to see which version of it rated best. Camping bring people back from the dead. It was the same for the test audiences. You couldn't just make them watch multiple versions of a show as they'd remember previous versions that would influence their opinions. There's no way to test multiple versions of a show without losing the feeling that lives were really in danger. But my, the memory rewriter could have changed, would have, ch would have changed that. But my, the memory writer would have changed, okay, yeah, that was her, okay. It did. We were able to reuse everybody, our volunteer actors, the test audiences. So we could just make people forget what happened. We could run, f we could run, we could film run after run of the show, where each was, was as it were the first time to all of you. And that's exactly what we've been doing here for the last two years. It was a lot to hear. I had a feeling, but to know that people looked at us like we were nothing but lab rats. While I genuinely was afraid for my life, it's sickening. We were silent for a while. If you've been testing a show this long, when's the real thing? There is no real thing. It's, on, it's only what version tests the best. That said, there is only so much time Damien is willing to spend on this show, and that time is almost up. This is the last run of the show. If you don't escape before the end, you're all as good as dead. I know Damien and I have said that we'd let you and your chosen partner go if you achieve good enough ratings, but... It's a lie, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sorry I've waited this long to try to help you guys. I've been too scared to risk it all. But I've been nothing. I have nothing to lift, left to lose now. She extended her hand to me for a handshake. Allies, at least till we're out of here. I don't have a choice this time either, huh? You want it? If you wanted to, you could report us right now. 
That's true, and my word can for more than all yours. But that wouldn't save the le the person I need to. Like it or not, we have to work together. And it's a deal. Allie shook Cat's hand. Cat, are you sure you don't want to? I'm fine, Scarlet. It's not important anymore, and we don't have any time to waste. If you say so. Anyway, the only time we can escape is the last day of the show, between midnight and just before the sun goes up. That's when the boat, the boat comes to welcome the newly engaged couple. And that's the only way off the island alive. It also doubles as a supply ship we use to replenish between each run of the show. Are there no other planes on this? Are there no other planes on this island? The boat would be far slower. Unfortunately, it's not so easy. There's a protective shell around the island, which performs two functions. First, it renders us invisible to satellite. It's the reason why pe your people couldn't find us, Ally. Second, if anything bigger than a human being tries to get in or out of the barrier, it'll get fried unless it's emitting a compatible IFF signal. The only way off the island is that that will have the signal is the boat. I'm betting it will be heavily guarded. Oh, I'm betting it will be heavily guarded. Well, yes, but not from people on it. The ship itself will be run by a skeleton crew. It's the staff on the island who we'll, we'll have to watch out for. That still leaves the question of how we'll deal with them. Last time I checked, there's hundreds of them. Not even ten of us. Actually, actually, it might need a piece hard after all. I got a plan that just might work. Although I have to admit, it's a little crazy. I like the sound of that. If it involves zombies again, I'm out. You explain your plan to us with a renewed confidence that can inspire anyone to believe. Luckily, we still have tomorrow, so we just have the amount of time... So we have just the amount of time we need. This just might work, you mean. You're a mad genius. It's crazier than I'd imagine. Crazy enough to work. Let's get to work. Wait, wait. Where where have we been listening to the same plan? <laughs> Thanks, Tara. I guess one of their separate ways to help for Ryle's plan. But Cat stayed. Our business wasn't finished just yet. What's up? How am I supposed to? I want to trust you, Cat. I really do. But you've burned me before. How can I ever trust you now? That's fair. The only one thing I can say to try to make you trust me is that we both have people we care about. And that if you don't need... And that if you don't escape, then the person I care about will go down with you. I'm not asking for you to push your neck out for me. You'll never have to. I'm asking for you to help somebody that you've never met. And you never will. Somebody innocent. It's strange. This woman has put me through hell, treated me like a lab rat, and more and more yet, somehow I think she's telling the truth. Honestly, it doesn't really matter if you trust do trust me. You'll see tomorrow that I'm going along with Vi's plan either way. I'll trust you, Cat. I'm sorry for yelling at you earlier. Don't be, I literally shot you. I think that earns you the right to be angry and more, no? Well, I've uh, gotten to know you over the past years. Not for more than a couple weeks straight, but I got to know you. And I think you're rude and manipulative and have no problem lying in my face. Hey, can we skip past the part where you... Hey, can we skip to the part where you compliment me? You're also incredibly crass, you keep secrets from everybody, and you finished. But I don't think you're a bad person. <laughs> Every time the show ran, you always talked to me and to make me feel like I was alone. You made sure I never lost hope. I know that was never part of the job. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, you did it. Over and over. I must have been so tired to do that over and over, full well knowing that we were doomed. I don't know why you're doing all this, but I believe that you do care about helping people. I'm flattered. But you've got me wrong. What do you mean? Everything I've ever done for you, the others, it's been for my own selfish reasons. It just happens to line up nicely. But I appreciate the compliment. Unlike four, I couldn't tell if she was telling the truth. We spent our separate ways. We went our separate ways shortly after. I spent the rest of the night helping the others preparing for the plan. I was exhausted when I got back to my room, but I still couldn't fall asleep for several hours. It's something on the tip of my tongue, but I just barely can't grasp it. Yet somehow I know I'm closer than I've ever been. Please, 
please let this last day be the end of this game. I've played it for so long. It's a great game. Love it. Love it. But I just want to be done with it. 